and the bottom of the car was on the grass and it started to smoke underneath. Now, I love a road trip, and when Mini UK offered me the opportunity to drive the new 300 odd horsepower Mini Clubman JCW from London all the way down to Bruges in Belgium, I accepted it with open arms. So I jumped in the 4C, I headed all the way down towards Ashford. Now, I wasn't gonna do this trip alone. I had a wingman. Meet Pete, Mr. Petrolped. Pete's done some great stuff on YouTube and I've also done a number of collaborations with him. And the fact that me and him were gonna be partnered together to drive all the way down to Bruce only meant one thing. We were gonna have a good laugh. And after a quick bite to eat and a briefing from the wonderful team at Mini, it was time to see what this JCW Clubman was all about. those people that doesn't park close enough to the booth and then has to get out. Oh, there's me hanger. I've got me hanger. You see, you're the kind of person that will never curb wheels Look, though. Bon voyage, Mr. Greaves. Notice it was in my name. We've got minis everywhere. In fact, the guys at the customs area were like, what's going on with all these minis? And me and Pete were like, well, it's a bit of a press drive. So uh, yeah, there's literally, there's quite a few. There's about, I think about seven JCW Clubmans. We've got the exclusive Clubman behind as well, so, uh, and uh, right over there, a Camo Aston. This is his worst nightmare, seeing a lot of YouTubers. <laughs> Look, he's probably like, oh no, stop recording me. But yeah, there you go, that's the Aston SUV. Obviously, I've introduced Pete at the start, but how are you, my... Oh, almost smashed your camera. <laughs> We're smashed. good, mate. You ready for a good bit of... I know <laughs> guy in the DBX wasn't happy, was he? No, I know. I just said it's like a, it's like a nightmare for him seeing a whole lot of YouTube people on a press drive just hiding up, <laughs> taking photos of his uh, of his Aston. But for now, we are entering here and let's go and raid food. some food. You ready, mate? Food. Let's, let's raid this. Now, I don't condone the behaviour you're about to see because for those of you who have travelled on Flexi Plus before will know that you have the opportunity to pretty much have whatever you want that you can see for absolutely free. Now, for YouTubers, that's like finding a gold mine because, well, when you're doing a lot of driving, you tend to not want to have to stop to buy food or drink, so you kind of capitalize on what you have in front of you. After loading up on pretty much everything in sight, stealing the croissants and, well, walking out with them whilst getting my Starbucks coffee, it was time to sit down, neck back the coffee, make our way onto the Euro Tunnel, and have a chill for 35 minutes as we cross the channel. There's something really nice about traveling on the Eurostar in the sense that it almost feels like you are going on a holiday, because you are, but there's a lot less stress than there is in an airport. You don't have to worry about running and missing your flight. All you really have to do is turn up, park up, and destroy all the food that you've eaten on the Flexi Plus. After a short journey and a quick check of social media, it was time for me to get behind the driver's seat of the car and see what the Mini JCW Clubman was like on the French roads before entering Belgium. There we go. Bienvenue en France. Merci beaucoup. So he's now finding out how to put it in sport mode. How do I? Always. And decent it was. In fact, the Mini JCW Clubman was very decent. But the problem that I have is the moment you come off the Channel Tunnel train is that there are just straight roads, fields, more straight roads. And actually, the initial part of the drive tends to be pretty boring, quite dull to be precise. So, especially if you're driving a relatively long distance, you tend to try and find things to do. So, I thought of a few questions. Quick question. Yeah. So, if you could have this car, this specific car, this Mini Clubman JCW, you can do whatever you want to it, modify it, do whatever, and take it one place, where would it be? As in, one place to drive, obviously. I would go to the Alps, probably, in winter, skiing. Because you can put your skis on the roof. Yeah. Uh, it's four-wheel drive. Yeah. Uh, and I'd find a really cool Alpine pass with a light covering of snow and go and have some fun. That's really interesting. 
I'm similar, but on the warmer side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's got kind of, you know, Mediterranean yeah, kind of uh, DNA in there. <laughs> so I would, I would get one of these, I'd jack it up and put some huge tires on it. Right. Take like the Sahara Desert. Rally raid. June, like some June rally stuff <laughs> with a sandboard as well. And I do some yeah. sandboarding. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine a jacked up club? That would be wicked. That would be so cool. I mean, I'm, honestly, I'm I'm impressed with the noise of this thing and the way it shifts because it's eight speed, isn't it? It's an eight yeah. speed gearbox. The when, when the new, point. When the new gear comes in, it's like, like it's good, isn't it? It almost kind of it feels like it preloads the gear and just really yeah. throws it in. So we've made it to we've made it to Bruges, I think. Yeah, we have. We're just heading into the town centre now. We are ten minutes away from the hotel. And uh, we're now, I guess, in the land of the traffic jam. Heading along through these cobbled roads out here in Bruges, and look, the architecture's lovely here. It's a lovely little town. I'm quite excited now for, uh, well, I'm definitely excited for a bit of lunch. I don't know about oh, you. Oh yeah. Bit Hank. of lunch. Absolutely yeah. Hank Marley. Yeah, bit of lunch, park the cars up, and uh, and then go out for another drive. But, go playing. Yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely here. Oh, hello. Oh, look. Oh, hello. <laughs> now that is nice. Thank you Hi. so much for having us. This place looks amazing. Right. It's stunning. Oh my yeah, god. Fantastic friendly Please get out. Okay. Have to eat. Hey. Please get out. That's Misha being polite but forceful. <laughs> right, let's right, do that. Some let's food. go. Now, after surgically parking the cars, we had a look inside the Hotel Duke's Palace. And my word, it is absolutely stunning. I think it's one of the most amazing things about these press trips is you get the opportunity to visit such lovely hotels, lovely locations, and drive awesome cars. The food wasn't bad either. After we shoveled down some food, Minnie gave us our final presentation on the car, and it was time to quickly set off outside of Bruges town and go and film the review, which I'm sure you've seen already. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> so, we do like to have fun on these press trips. Not gonna lie. Now, on the review, I might, in fact, I probably will show this on review because it's hilarious. The boot space is massive. You can fit a Steph in the back of this car. But what I wanted to say was really is that on these press trips, it is nice to have a good, well, it's, good, it's nice to have fun. And I'm fortunate to have Pete with me, who is a good friend of mine, so we can have a bit of banter because they can be quite stressful. And a lot of these trips, you end up stressing around content and trying to find out what is it you're gonna actually film. In fact, if I'm honest with you, this video, I haven't been at the top of my game uh, and I've had to cut it so many times. So I thought this would be a nice bit just to chill out and just sit in a boot. But I mean, look, it's a massive boot. So we've uh, we found a really nice location to take some photos. And the irony is we parked the car just there and the bottom of the car was on the grass and it started to smoke underneath so we were actually catching fire to that so obviously it got quite hot and now for the instagram shot yeah, pete, pete is cutting grass, grass. Set fire to <laughs> but i mean literally look at these views man it is so nice around here no i don't think they are they're probably thinking what have they done they're burning stuff now you see this is a problem because we've just got back to the hotel it's, uh, we spent far too much time filming. This is my hotel room, by the way. It looks, um, it looks very nice. Um, very nice bed, TV. Yeah, this is, uh, what's the view like from out here? Look at that. What a view. Oh man, look at that. So I'm gonna go and have some dinner now. Uh, I will catch up with you in the morning because I want to show you a little bit of Bruges because it's a lovely place. Um, but I'm gonna have something to eat and I'm gonna get some sleep because it's been a really long day. I've been up since five o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm flipping knackered. So uh, see you in a bit. Now there are worse views in the morning to wake up to and I'm very fortunate to be experiencing these. But we woke up, we went downstairs and had some breakfast. And of course, because we're in Belgium, part of the breakfast was delicious Belgian chocolate. Had a little walk around the town and explore what Bruges was all about. It is an absolutely stunning city and I thoroughly recommend going if you've not before. Not just for the architecture, but for this. And of course, we've had to stop to get some chocolate because when in Bruges, you buy chocolate. But now the plan for us right now is we are going to be jumping back in the Mini. Uh, we're gonna be in the exclusive Mini today. We're gonna head back to Calais, go through the Eurotunnel and head back to where we started. So uh, it's uh, about nine o'clock, we need to get going. So uh, yeah, we're about to do that, mate. 
Morning people, morning. Good morning, are you ready for the drive back? Yeah. In the exclusive? It's gonna be a bit more mellow. A little bit more mellow, a little bit more chilled out. Yeah, yeah it should be good we'll fun. We'll use less fuel. That we will, yeah. Oh, there's a big bus, watch out. <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, when was the last time you saw a song? Flipping out, look at that. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. <laughs> And just like that, we are back in the Mini. We're in the Clubman, but this is the exclusive. Oh, exclusive. And now... It's really nice in here. It is, isn't it? It's very, it's very, uh, very luxury in here. Well, that was a quick journey back. I thought I'd spare you the time of coming back with us, but it took us about a couple of hours to get from Bruges back to Calais. And of course, yes, we raided the Flexi Plus again. But after that, it was back in the car landed back on UK soil and I headed back to the 4C to end the trip. We are back where we started. What a great trip what that was, trip. Right? It was what so a much trip fun. That was. <laughs> These cars, this thing was great fun driving back. It's very chilled out, very exclusive as what it says on the tin. But the JCW, which is hidden back there, that was really cool, wasn't yeah. it? Mega, really, mega really cool. Big. But anyway, it's time to unpack the car, load it into the 4C. Make sure if you don't already, make sure to follow Petrol Pet. I'll leave a link in the That'll description. Very, very appreciated. Pet makes some great content. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've had a really good time. A massive thank you to Mini UK for inviting us down. My name is Steph. You guys have been awesome. Make sure to subscribe for plenty more content and I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye bye.